what's going on everyone model deer farmer back with you today today we're looking at a cornfield here i am going to be showing you how to do a yield estimate for corn um most stocks of corn only have one ear on it so that's pretty much what we're going to be basing stuff off of today sometimes they do put a second ear out but that's a real small ear it's not going to do much of anything so if you have a lot more rain um you might get a couple ears um a couple ears per plant sorry it's a little bit windy today um but with the dry ear that we've been having here we're not going to uh have two ear two good ears on the stock now we do have a little bit of hail damage on the corn here but i don't think it really hurt much of anything um so what you'll pretty much do now i'm not gonna fully i'm gonna show you how to do it here on the edge of the field just because when if you if we go into the field you're not really going to be able to see much of anything on the camera so but what you're going to want to do is you, when you are actually doing this you are going to want to go past your end rows and into a good part of your field like well don't pick a good spot a particularly good spot that you know does well um but just find an area where the planter has been running a little bit that's not on the edge and just kind of find an area that you want to do your yield estimate the next thing you're going to want to do here to help calculate your yield is you're going to need to find how many ears of corn are within 17 feet and 5 inches now 17 feet 5 inches represents one one thousandth of an acre so we're going to use that to just make it a little bit easier because i don't think you're going to want to go count every single ear in a whole acre of corn because it could be anywhere about 30,000 ears. So that might take you a little while. So we're gonna kind of represent it here by using the 17 feet, five inches as one 1,000th of an acre. So you'll want to get a tape measure and measure out your 17 feet, five inches, lay it out on the ground somewhere um, on the row you're doing. And then you're going to go through and count how many ears that will actually produce a crop are within your 17 feet, five inches. So I have my one 1,000th of an acre marked out here on the ground. I got lined in the, lined in the dirt. So we're going to go by, we're gonna count how many ears we have in our area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so in our one one thousandth of an acre, we got a ear count of 33 good ears that will produce a crop taking that 33 ear count in mind keeping that in mind when we go to calculate our yield later that will help us now if you're wanting to do a very good yield estimate you're going to want to do this in multiple different spots throughout the field to get the most accurate possible count you can now since we have our one one thousand of an acre counted out and we count how many years ears we have you're going to go along throughout your one one thousandth of an acre or multiple different spots in your field and we're going to start off by pulling five ears now don't just go and try and find the biggest possible ear that you can because then obviously your count is going to be high so just pretty much Walk up to a plant, grab, pull five random ears off the plant, and we will use those to calculate our estimated yield. So now that we have our five ears picked, um, these are a couple of days old. They've been sitting out a couple of days, but they will do what we need um, for this. So we are going to calculate our yield per ear first off, um, and then we'll take the averages of all five 
and bring them together for one yield estimate. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the ear and count how many kernels around it is. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 around. You're going to need a calculator, so we'll put 18 into our calculator. We're going to multiply that by how many kernels tall our ear is. So you're not going to want to start all the way at the bottom because you don't have all the kernels around at the bottom. You're not going to want to go all the way to the top because we're not going to get anything from there. So we'll kind of start here or so. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So that's about, these kernels start getting smaller up here. So 33 will go. So times 33 equals that we got 594 kernels on this ear of corn so now that we have that we're going to multiply it by 33 because 33 was our number that we found for how many ears are in one thousandth of an acre then we're going to equal that we get 19,602 then what you're going to do is you're going to divide by 89.605 and that number is going to be your yield for that ear of corn. So this ear of corn comes out to 218.76 bushels per acre. So then you're going to want to do that for all the rest of your ears of corn here. So we'll get back to you once we get that done. So now... Um, I got all of our ears calculated here. So our numbers that we came out with were 218.76, 225.38, 229.80, 200.34, and 229.80. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take these numbers, put them in the calculator, add them all up, and then divide them by five to find our average. So after we add all five of them up, we get 1104.08, so then we divide by five. And that is going to give us an average yield of 220.816 bushel per acre. So that is our yield estimation on these five years from that field um, at our population of 33,000. Um, 33,000 ears per acre on this field. Um, so, of course, this has been sitting out for a couple days, so it has lost a lot of moisture content because um, it hasn't black layered yet, hasn't reached maturity, so the ears look a little bit smaller now. Um, but they were bigger and plumper when they were first picked. But So that is pretty much it on how we calculate our estimated yield on a cornfield. Um, it kind of, you just go through these steps, use the numbers I told you and for, uh, figuring out the one one thousandth of an acre and then also how to calculate. Just, you can use this video to help you out while you're out in the field trying to figure out your yields, um, yield estimation. Let me know if you want a soybean yield estimation video. I can put together one of those as well. Um, so just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you found it informational. If you did, if you enjoyed, if you liked it, leave a like on the video. Helps it out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to the channel too if you enjoy um, this content. Uh, we're trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of August. So we got a couple more weeks. Let's try and get there. Um, that'd mean a lot to me. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. Share this video to a friend if you know someone else that might want to calculate their estimated corn yield. But I hope you enjoyed this small deer farmer. We'll see you in the next one.